Hey, I'm Dr. Taylor, and in this video, we are going to debunk seven myths about monkeypox, or mpox as it's also known. Let's get started. Myth number one, monkeypox was made by scientists in a lab. Fact, while monkeypox was first discovered in the late 1950s in monkeys used for research, scientists still don't know the true source of the disease. It's thought that rodents and non-human primates, such as monkeys, are reservoirs for monkeypox. A reservoir is the place where an infectious agent typically lives and multiplies. The disease was first seen in humans in the 1970s. Myth number two, monkeypox is only transmitted via sex. Fact, mpox can be spread through more ways than just sex. Technically, it can spread by direct contact with bodily fluids, scabs, or the rash itself. Prolonged skin-to-skin -skin physical contact, such as epic hugs or cuddling sessions, can spread the virus. There are a couple of other ways the virus is thought to spread. Breathing on someone face-to-face -face for long periods of time, think really long heated arguments, clothes or bedding that has come into contact with mpox lesions, and also mother to baby or so-called vertical transmission. Myth number three, monkeypox only infects men who have sex with men. Fact, monkeypox can infect anyone who does not have immunity to the disease, regardless of sexual orientation. If we think back to all the ways that it can spread, anyone with prolonged and or intimate contact with someone who is sick or who handles their linens is at risk of contracting the disease. Myth number four, mpox is similar to COVID-19. Fact, monkeypox and COVID-19 are from two different families of viruses. Monkeypox is from the pox viridae family and COVID-19 is from the coronaviridae family of viruses. Even their genetic makeup is different. Monkeypox contains little bits of DNA while COVID-19 is made up of RNA. Monkeypox is also far less contagious than COVID-19 and results in different signs and symptoms. The main symptoms of monkeypox, as you can see in this picture, are a rash with bumps on the skin, such as the face, hands, or genitals. Whereas with COVID, well, you all probably know these symptoms too well by now. Myth number five, you can easily contract monkeypox in public areas. Fact, monkeypox does not spread as easily as a virus like COVID-19. Since mpox requires prolonged face-to-face -face or physical contact with someone who has the disease, or if you're wearing their clothes, you're less likely to get it than you are to get COVID. People are far less likely to contract monkeypox by passing through public areas such as grocery stores and the mall versus a virus such as COVID-19. Myth number six. Humans cannot pass monkeypox to pets. Fact, human to animal transmission of monkeypox is technically possible. A recent report in the medical journal Lancet described a case in which a pet dog most likely contracted monkeypox from its owners who had monkeypox. As you can see in this image, the dog had two somewhat crusty erythematous papules or red raised bumps. It's not hard to imagine how this might happen. After all, how many of us love to snuggle with our pets, especially when we're under the weather? The take home point from them is this, people with monkey pox should isolate from animals, including their pets. Please follow CDC guidance regarding this and do not surrender, euthanize, or abandon pets just because of a potential exposure to monkeypox. And do not wipe or bathe your pets with chemical disinfectants, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, or anything that could harm them. Just avoid your usual cuddles and face licks until you're back to your regular health. Myth number seven, no vaccines exist for monkeypox. Fact. There are actually two vaccines available for the prevention of monkeypox in the US. These are around because monkeypox is similar to smallpox. And so the vaccines we've used in the past to protect against smallpox can be used to prevent mpox. Right now, the CDC is recommending vaccination for one, folks who have been exposed to monkeypox, two, people who've had a sexual partner in the past two weeks who was diagnosed with monkeypox, 
And three, people who've had multiple sexual partners in the past two weeks who are in an area with known monkeypox cases. It's not currently recommended for all individuals who are sexually active. Now that we've debunked seven monkeypox myths, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.